Hey there everybody, it's Mike Delisio with another Dice Tower Daily Unboxing. And today, we're looking at another set in the Funkoverse strategy game. Dun -dun, dun -dun, dun -dun. Doo -doo -doo. We're looking at Jaws. We've got Quint and we've got the Shark. Oh boy. So, you can already imagine the battles that can take place with Quint and the Shark. Perhaps they're going against Hermione and... I always come back to the Kool-Aid Man because the Kool-Aid Man really should be in every uh, battle that takes place in Funkoverse. All right, well, let's take a look at some of the components here. We'll start with our figures. There he is. Look at that. Look at that. And where is he going to have his items? Right there in his mouth, <laughs> apparently. So if you had the Golden Girls, you can have the Jaws with the cheesecake in his mouth, which would be a pretty brutal combo, I would think. But there you go. That's cool. Here we got Quint. We try to take him out of here without causing any damage to the figure. There we go. There's Quint. Very nice. We've got our standard dice. Our gems are a dark blue. And we've got our tokens, which again are standard tokens. We don't really need to look at those. They're the same tokens as you see in others. Ah, we've got as our item here a gun which makes sense spear gun you're going after the big shark you got to have your spear gun all right so you can already think of the different pairings that you could have adding that shark or, or that spear gun to other games of funkoverse so let's take a quick look at the powers of the cards i'm just going to focus on the main cards. So Quint here has a farewell and adieu for red power. Move up to sport four spaces towards the rival with the hunted status card. Do a challenge two to them. You've got the three gray power can crusher. Range three, challenge two, roll one extra die for each of your status cards on the target. So it looks like Quint's going to be putting out status cards. Uh, three power red, compare scars, stand Quint up, Challenge two, Quint can do this while knocked down. Oh, okay. And the veteran hunter, when Quint becomes exhausted, you may give or move the hunted status card to a rival character. All right. And then we've got the shark. The shark with their two level blue power, move three, the shark may emerge. Three, blood in the water, place the shark adjacent to a rival within three spaces or adjacent to any knockdown rival, the shark may emerge. And then three, Jaws, challenge five. Ooh, you may place the target in any square uh, adjacent to the shark. Yeah, and then the underwater predator. The shark begins the game with the shark status card. If the shark emerges or submerges, flip the status card to the appropriate side. If the shark would be knocked down, knock it out instead. Ah, okay, well, let's take a quick look here. There's the shark status card, emerged. The shark may not be moved by your opponent while emerged. If the shark does uh, an action that moves it, the shark submerges. Submerged. The shark may not do any assist, challenge, or interact actions while submerged. As a basic action, the shark may emerge. So, that could be terrifying. You never know where Jaws is going to be, right? You never know. And then you've got different uh, status cards for Quint. You've got the hunted card, and you've got barrel cards here. And then you've got the harpoon gun. When this character challenges a rival character, you may place this card on the one of your cooldown track. If you do, give that rival a barrel status card. All this character's moves are reduced by one. Did the, discard this card after the character is knocked out or doesn't move. So this is slowing them down, these barrels. All right, makes sense. Let's take a look at the map. See what we have here. I'm assuming we're going to be having some water. I mean, it, it does seem to be logical. All right, well, let's take a look. Double-sided map, as always. Okay, here it looks like we've got Amity Island. Makes sense. We've also got water, though. You know, because Shark, you know, Jaws has to have a place to go. Then we've got the Orca. Oh, yes. Woo! 
All right, well, I can see this having a fun interaction with a lot of other characters in the Funkoverse universe. There we've got Jaws. Thank you for watching another Dice Tower Daily Unboxing.